white screen then welcome to another room build it's been quite a while since i did a room build that i was making a specific style i don't even recall when the last one was but if you follow me for quite a while you know that i really love interior design and different trends and trying different styles um, and learning more about that i just i really really love it and I also love doing cinematics, like this stuff is my jam. Editing videos, I love it. I think it's such a creative little thing that not many people put too much attention to. So today this video is very unique to the weird bits I've been doing lately. Uh, but I really am happy with it, like I'm really happy with it. I hope you like it too. I've stopped doing room builds based on a specific style because i noticed they don't do well but i decided you know what i like that i want to do that screw everyone else um so as you can see we're doing the japan style and you might be wondering what the freak is that i'm right with you uh that was my exact reaction when i first saw it so apparently it's one of the hottest trends of 2020 and it mixes the Japanese and the Scandinavian style. I'll try and explain the style as much as I can and to the best of my abilities, but please remember I'm not an interior decorator. I have no knowledge on that stuff. I'm an amateur. Apparently, um, the Japanese style, both of the styles, I guess, the Japanese and the Scandinavian are very minimal styles with clean lines and they follow simplicity. And the Japanese style has more of a specific wood texture and just very simple and it reaches to the point of extreme minimalism but it uses warm colors and it uses like the philosophy of wabi-sabi which means find perfection in the imperfection which I love that because this room build ain't perfect um, and the Scandinavian style um, embraces the Hyde's philosophy. I think this is how you pronounce it, not completely sure. Which is essentially what we got with tiny living, if you will. It's like creating a cozy space with blankets and pillows and fluffy stuff. So you combine those two and you create a space that has warmer colors, which Scandinavian is lacking because it's very beige and white. Um, it has more uh, comforting stuff with Japanese style again is lacking but it also has minimal decor and nice and sturdy hoods so uh, <laughs> at least that's how I understood it I tried to google search a lot and so what actual living rooms with this style looked like and try to kind of combine them if you will and create something that I would be kind of proud of if you, if I'm being honest like I don't I like it um, so as you can see on the TV room wall TV wall if you will uh, I use these marble end tables I think they are from dine out probably um, and I rotate them to kind of create I don't know like kind of an accent thing not sure most of these Japan styles had kind of like cardboards below the TV and I tried using that. I cut off a lot of stuff because I tried a lot of things that I didn't like or didn't work. I tried cardboards but I felt like they looked too simple to like, okay, we've seen that before and I really found out that the eco lifestyle matches well with the Japandi style like it has those minimal furniture with the clean lines and nice warm colors and bases so I was going through the catalog of eco lifestyle again and again I'm like I'm gonna find something that works here I'm sure of it and I found this table that I used and I'm like it looks cool but like it's not exactly what I want you know and then I realized I can rotate it to kind of create the essence of a cardboard but not really and I love this so much I love this idea so much 
I am so proud of it. Like it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. So moving on, I'm um, into the sitting area. As I told you, I wanted to use the specific couch. I think it matches really well. It's pretty white. Uh, currently the room looks pretty clinically, which I realized a bit later and I turned some stuff to make it more warm and more inviting. Um, but I really liked this couch and I wanted to use it. And before, in the past, I used those barrel looking poofs to make pillows, which I thought that looks cute. Um, but again, in the middle, something was missing. And the other couch from Tiny Living has this large pillow in the middle. And those little things from Tiny Living work so well and match this couch with a Tiny Living couch really well and I'm really happy with that like it looks pretty pretty good um, now with the paintings I didn't create them I will link the artist in the description you can also find their user ID or gallery ID on the description of the gallery creation itself I take no credit I wanted something more colorful not gonna like wanted something minimal but it would also have a warm color. I couldn't find exactly what I was looking. I think this is this was my closest bet. So as you can see, I introduced some color with the couch and I changed the wallpapers. I didn't really want it, the gray ones. Uh, a lot of the Japan style uses a specific green wallpaper that's kind of warm, but it's very unique. And we didn't have anything similar to it in The Sims. I found one that was kind of working, you saw it a bit earlier, but I really didn't like it. I felt like it was really boring and it just, it just really didn't work. Um, but yeah, this is most of the room. If you want, I will have the creation link in the description. Also, if you go to my Instagram, I created a little stop motion video of me building it. I'm pretty proud. So yeah. This is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you'll have an amazing day and take care. Bye!